Okay, just thought I'd make a video here to talk about how to replace the Kawasaki one key locks in the KQR saddlebags. Uh, I bought these secondhand for my Versus 650. The owner included a, a key, which nicely opens and closes the bags. Uh, however, my key does not fit. So I purchased a new set of cylinders. Uh, I'm not gonna go over how to, how to get these keyed up, but I will link a video uh, that kind of explains how to do this. Basically, you're just replacing the wafers until the uh, wafers are flush with the key inserted. Uh, so as you can see, my key doesn't open the locks. So uh, what you're going to need is a couple of Phillips head screwdrivers and then also uh, something with a uh, T30 star bit as there's a couple screws on the inside that we need to remove. Uh, so first things first, on the back end side here, there's three little Phillips head screws back here, so you'll go ahead and take those out. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and open up the bag. And you're going to remove that screw there and that little screw right there. And then once those are removed, you've got four more screws on the inside here. These are the T30 screws. So you'll remove all those. Uh, I'll cut the video here, go ahead and remove those, and we'll get back to it. Okay, so once you've got all your screws removed, the only thing that's holding this top plate on here is there's a piece of double-sided tape that runs along the length of this seam. Uh, so I've already gone ahead and loosened mine up, just a, a flathead screwdriver in this seam, just kind of carefully prying until it pops loose. Uh, that will get the top plate here off. So now let's get the rest of the bag out of the way, because we don't need it anymore. What we're left with is here. So here's your lock mechanism. So as you turn the key, this bar slides back and forth to lock the uh, case, lock and unlock the case. So to get this off, what you want to do is set this to unlock, and then the tab here that you would lift to take the bags on and off the bike, you want to lift that up, and then this plate here uh, can just be pulled up and out of the way. So the next thing you want to do is go ahead and remove these three Phillips screws that are around the uh, lock cylinder so that we can get that out. Okay, and then with the screws removed, this just lifts up and off. Uh, as you can see, there's a uh, slot here that fits on the back of the back of the lock cylinder. So when you reassemble this, you just want to make sure that, that lines up uh, so that it can actually actuate the lock. Uh, now to get the cylinder out, what we need to do is pull on this little locking tab here. Uh, so what you'll want to do is just grab a Phillips head screwdriver or, or a flathead screwdriver or a punch or paper clip, whatever you got. Uh, press that in place and then uh, the lock should slide on out. You might need to wiggle the key on the other side. And I can't do this uh, one-handed, so I will cut again and remove the lock cylinder. All right, and we have the lock cylinder out. Uh, one piece of advice I can give is to leave the key inserted. And then as you're pressing this lock tab in from the back end, I uh, just go ahead and give the key a little twist as you pull. Eventually it'll work its way out. Uh, so to get the new cylinder in, here's the new cylinder. It's been keyed to my uh, ignition key. Uh, you'll notice there's a little groove here in the top of this, in the top of the uh, locking pin. And there's a little nub here at the top of the lock cylinder. Um, so what works best here is to get those Kind of work this into that little against the nub here and then press it in place to depress the lock cylinder then you're going to twist this and push it in place um, this does have a habit of uh this this piece here could punch through if you put too much pressure on it but it just it's just press fit in so you can replace it pretty easily um this is my third time trying to film this and i can't do it with one hand so uh you know this is the that's just the way it works so make sure that the uh locking pin is pointing towards the upwards uh, section of the box. Uh, again, against this little nub here, to press it, turn the key all the way in, make sure it locks and unlocks, and you're good to go. And there we go. So, key and locks and unlocks. It's all in there. So the only thing left to do now is to uh, reassemble, which is uh, the exact same process, just uh, in reverse.
So we're going to start by replacing our mechanism here. Again, it's got a little slot here that fits over the back of the key, or back of the uh, tumbler, rather. So it's just going to sit there. We'll, uh, click that in place and replace your three screws. Uh, and then this locking bar is going to go right back over the top. Uh, it's easiest if you have this unlocked and then make sure that this, um, these two spots here, again, that's the lever for uh, attaching and detaching the cases from the bike. Just make sure this is pushed all the way up. Uh, and then this will just uh, fit right on top. It helps if you, in my experience, it helps if you bring this in from the side first and kind of rotate it down and into place. Uh, and then just make sure that um, this piece here fits over the little locking nub. Okay, and I'm going to try to get a decent video here of how to reinstall this little locking bar. Uh, so we've got the lock set to unlock right now. This is the unlock position. Uh, the little lever in the back has been raised up. So it's and I'm not in the way of this locking bar here. And then what we're going to do is kind of, a pro kind of tip it in at an angle, set it into this slot here, and then make sure it fits over this uh, locking pin in the back. And there you go. That's it. Pull the... Uh, lever back up to lock it in place and you can go ahead and lock turn the lock take the key out and that's it reassembled so then the only thing you have to do left to do is to go ahead and put it back on the box uh, replace your three screws here the two that are here on the inside of the handle and then those four t30 pins that are on the insides and that'll be it all right, and I have everything reassembled and a new key inserted, and it works. Everything opens and unlocks. Locking tab opens up, everything works just great. So that's all you have to do. Um, same thing for the other side, just, you know, opposite directions. Uh, anyway, I had a heck of a time trying to find a video on how to actually remove these cylinders and actually just finding instructions on how to remove them in general. So. Uh, Hope uh, hope this helps somebody out there. Thanks for watching.